What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here. Ten nigga TIS is once again. I think like, this video is gonna be mainly about people stereotyping and giving into bullshit and calling me a racist because what I believe in and what I've said. People, but I say this. But I say it like this. <clears throat> I've sat here and talked and talked about certain people I that I see in videos. I sit there and people don't listen. How come every time I do a video and I'm mentioning something and I and people don't pay attention to it? People don't pay attention to what the hell I'm saying. They want to pick certain things I have said in my videos trying to make me look bad or call me a racist because what I'm saying, they're picking words and twisting them. I'm not the media. You Neither are you. You're not the media. I'm not the media. I'm just ten like a T.I. is. I've sat here and told people I watch Jesse Ventura's videos for conspiracy theories. Paul Moody, when he talks about black America. Same with Professor Griff, when he talks about how the Illuminati is going on with homosexual tendencies of black entertainment where certain celebrities are sleeping with each other or sleeping, uh, doing homosexual acts and plus all this and that. Second thing is I talk about Dr. Umar Johnson. A guy that's sitting up there talking about parenting. Why are parents why is black bad, why is black kids getting put in special need classes even though there's nothing wrong with the child. It's just how the parent parent is raising them by spoiling them, by sitting up there rewarding them for doing bad things. And then parents want to sit back what went wrong. And I also brought up Dick Gregory that actually sat there and got proof on certain incidents. But y'all still won't, don't want to hear what I got to say. But when it comes down to these five million, it's a whole different ballpark. Y'all want to listen to them and believe what they got to say. But when I'm sitting there mentioning them, I am not talking bad about them. I'm actually encouraging people to watch their videos where they will get a sense of understanding sense of understanding and I've mentioned many times many times about a movie a movie that Spike Lee did called Bamboozle about how black entertainment is black facing themselves it's, see what I'm saying black black entertainers are black facing themselves in our entertainment industry what I mean is by that is where they always going out for the same old roles drug dealers, prostitutes, pimps drug users convicts murderers rapists so on and so forth that's what i mean by black folks are black facing themselves and black people are not the only one doing that it's white um, white entertainers hispanic entertainers uh asian entertainers uh men or eastern entertainers american indian i mean uh native americans and native americans too they are black facing themselves. When I mean the black face, I mean they're actually stereotyping themselves, but y'all don't want to listen to that. Are oh, we not stereotyping ourselves? We are not stereotyping ourselves. If you're not, if black folks are not stereotyping themselves, then why do you copy everything that's in a movie into reality? Why do you copy everything that's in a show into reality? Why do you go out and buy Cadillac beans and all this bling bling? Why do black women got to go out and buy weaves and wigs just to make themselves look good? That's black facing. That's black facing. Same with the same with black women sitting up there trying to get on welfare and have five, about five or six different baby daddies. That's black facing. I'm trying to say is we need to get every minority that needs to get out of that stereotyping phase and stop black facing themselves and so people can stop stereotyping their race. And that's what I'm trying to say. Stop giving into stereotyping. Because that's all y'all doing is stereotyping yourself just to get noticed. It's the same as like what was it? It was something out of the front, uh, out of the uh, what's that movie called? The Barber Shop with Ice Cube, Cedric Entertainer, Eve, and so on and so forth. And the guy that played Terry, the light skinned dude with the braids, he says he says something about why 
why go to the club and then trying to go to church the next day to repent? I said, if you're trying to be good in your life, don't be trying to go to clubs and then trying to go to church. Something like that. Something like that. Because one thing about it is, I agree what he says. Every minority does that. Even, even blacks. Why do you think blacks get stereotyped so much about what they do? There's a stereotype, oh, you always see black people in the clubs. You always see black people in the club. That's where they hang out. That's where they live. Or the liquor store. And that's all it is. Every minority stereotypes themselves. Not just blacks, not just whites, but every minority. And all I'm trying to say is get out of that bullshit. And stop painting your face instead of black facing yourself. I'm trying to break this down. Understand what I'm trying to say. I've sat there and said several times, go watch the movie Bamboozle and try to understand that movie is talking about certain minorities black facing themselves. I watched that movie so much, I know what it is. I understood it. But one thing about it is it was about the movie is about a producer that was trying to get, that was trying to get off his contract with the network. And he puts on this show about stereotyping blackface and black people blackfacing themselves. And there was a group of like there was kind of like Black Panthers. It was kind of like Black Panthers that hated the show and thought that was so racist towards their color, their race. So what they do, they took one of the stars and killed them because they were stereotyping themselves. And I'm sitting up here and I'm looking at this. I'm sitting up here looking at this. I was like, that's everybody across the nation, across the world. And people are not understanding this because they don't want to understand it. Because they don't want to understand it. And I'm sitting up there pissed off because that's all I see in this world. That's all I see in this country, the state, the city, the town the county, whatever, that's all I see is people black facing themselves or Hispanics brown facing themselves or um, uh, Native Americans red facing themselves or Asians yellow facing themselves or white people white facing themselves. See what I'm saying? They love to dip their hand and paint their face their color. But I get looked at as a fucking racist. I get called, oh, you're stereotyping people. No, it's not me stereotyping people. It's you stereotyping people. That's how it is. And I'm pissed off about it because that's all people want to do is stereotype themselves. That's all they want to do is stereotype themselves. Then they wonder why the kids grow up to be who they are today. And I'm going to say this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. Me and one of my relatives went out one day. We had to go somewhere and our ride had to go somewhere else but they was going to come back and pick us up. So we went to this place and uh, we did what we had to do and we came out and we was waiting on our ride. We, we're both black. Well, I'm actually mixed but you get what I'm saying. I'm black too. But but me and my relatives were sitting there waiting on our ride outside the building. It was kind of cold but it wasn't cold enough to wear shit. I'm too damn cold. But we stood outside and we see this black woman, she was dressed well, like she can carry herself well. And we just standing there minding our business, didn't do nothing wrong. Lady walks by and she didn't say hi. She didn't say hi to us, I was like. And so me and my relatives looked at each other, I was like, that's snooty, that's, that's fucked up that a black woman won't say hi to black men unless if they got money. I'm not saying she's a gold digger. She's got she's got money because the place she works at pays her well. Pays her well, and and I'm looking at that, and I sit there, and I sit there, and I thought to myself, I thought to myself that uh about the black community on what they do when it's a it's it's how it's like this how black folks do each other, same with whites or Spanish and any other. It goes. It goes. It's the same issue that goes on every within every minority. If a black man or black woman has money, they will treat a black woman 
and a black a black man that has no money delivers paycheck to paycheck like shit with the black the poor black man and the poor black woman black woman that lives paycheck to paycheck sits up sits up there and call them snooty the rich the rich blacks will call them poor ass niggas you see what I'm saying the rich folks is looking into a mirror of the past look where you came from and look where you're at now and the poor black people she look at that she's got an education what happened why did you drop out of school that's what I'm questioning it happens in every race and I question it why do certain like why do Hispanic rich people have why do they look at poor Hispanic rich people I mean why do rich Hispanic people rich Hispanic people look at poor Hispanic people like they're fucking garbage and rich and poor Hispanics look at rich people as snobby as fucks and it goes on and on in every race and nobody ever noticed it until they say snobby bitch dirty hoe that's all that's going on we so pinned against each other that we don't realize that we that we're stereotyping ourselves ourselves that's how it is you cannot have money then stereotype your race because they don't live your life they don't have money like you because they gotta live paycheck to paycheck uh, working nine to five 40 hours a week paycheck to paycheck to pay a bill and y'all sit up here and think look at me oh you stereotyping yourself because you listen to Tommy Sayota and I'm going to say this about Tommy Sayota I said in the video when I did about it I agree with some of the stuff some of the stuff not all of it I disagree against him talking about black women it's not just a black woman's fault it's a black man's fault too that's what I believe in I'm not saying pin this out on a black woman no I'm not saying that I do not pin that on a black woman I, I pin it on both parents that's how I see it like I'm tired of sitting up here I don't even like to me I don't even watch BET no more I don't even watch BET because they stereotype the hell out of each other on BET. I said, how can you be Black Star Entertainment, Black Entertainment Television, when you stereotype the shit out of each other? For real, why do you stereotype the shit out of each other? Why can't you sit there and put something positive about black people? Like, look at Bill Cosby. He did the show called The Cosby Show, having... five kids having five kids a black doctor and a black lawyer that's successful with five kids to raise and it show how successful a black person can be that was a good show to show positivity now they shows show shows about black folks being a drug addict or a drug dealer or a hoe a prostitute a pimp a murderer a, a, a fucker that keeps going in and out of prison that's all they show and you sitting up there one and you sitting there walking around saying, Why does everybody gotta stereotype me? Because you put yourself that way. You dress yourself that way. When I say dress yourself I mean it like walking out the house I'm, like I'm saying that I'm saying it like this where walking out the house this is black men and black teens. Walking out the house busting slack. That's an old term that we used to use back in the nineties. A busting or uh, busting your like you know how like you do like your pants is blowing your waist, you showing your jaw. That shows me that you have a homosexual tendency. And you probably sitting there probably going, I'm not no homo, I'm not no homo. Fucker, you're showing your drawers in public. You have adapted the lifestyle of an inmate. You're that you're taking you're accepting what the inmate has done in a penitentiary. And I'ma say it again what that means. In prison when in prison inmates used to bust slack. 
turn means in saggy pants in prison that was that would that's showing other inmates they down for whatever I mean they love to get fucked in the butt they love to get hit in the ass that's what they like and I see our children I doubt that they can sit there and say I love girl no you don't you love boys there's nothing wrong with homosexuality but you're busting slack you're showing your jaws showing every man that is a homosexual that you're down for whatever how would you feel <clears throat> an inmate comes out of prison just got out of prison and he sees some teenager saggy pants showing their jaws he's gonna think that boy's up to everything that he don't mind to get banged in the ass same with the grown men that inmate's gonna look at him and say oh he likes to get fucked in the butt that's the inmates that's what the inmates thinking when they get out of prison and they see that because he already knew seen it in prison and knew what it was but when he comes down to the real world he sees that on the street he's gonna think oh I can fuck them I can fuck them men right there cause they homosexual just like I am like I said I'm not teasing or making fun or poking at homosexuality but that's what it is to inmates and you sit there and it's like like I said, I'm gonna get a lot of people saying I'm not gay. Then pull your fucking pants up, wear a fucking belt. Stop trying to be like Little Wayne. Only homosexuals do that in prison. That's how it is. It goes for every minority around the world. Stop, stop showing your drawers in public. I don't want to see your skid mark in your fucking drawers. You probably saying you used to do that, yeah, back when I was a kid until I found out what the fuck that mean. Now I pull my pants up and wear a belt. They said this is what you do. If you want to sit there, see that's why, like I said, this is why people stereotype black folks so much. It's because how they, how they come out into the world, how they dress. I've had somebody tell me. That I speak proper, like you speak Ebonics, but you speak proper because you're not all about the Ebonics, the slang. And I tell them, I only speak slang when I want to. Not because I have to, it's because I want to. Because I'm well educated, because that's what the person said. I'm well educated, know when to use slang, how to use slang, and understood slang. But I don't need to go out in the world. Oh, what's up, my nigga? What's up? What's up? What's up? Or shit like that. That shit like it. Let me tell you this. I was on the I was on the site called Stick King. And my man, my name, my nickname, my name, Afro Joe, was given to me by a friend. That was like what, eleven years ago? It come out eleven years ago, and. I go to Stick Cam. I put in my name, Afro Joe. I went into a room, it's called Dr. Funtime. The guy, Dr. Funtime, saw my name and the first thing he said, you need to change your name. I said, for what? Your name is racist. I kind of thought to myself, I was like, how is it racist? It's just Afro and Joe. It's like, how the hell is that racist? Like, I ain't put in nigger hater or shit like that or trying to disrespect nobody just saying afro afro means a hairstyle that doesn't mean a color doesn't mean a race doesn't mean a minority doesn't mean none of that it means my hair is nappy and i have a fro that's what that means afro and my name was joe and i told the guy i said look i'm black he said well okay you're black he said but still change your name that's racist so i left i got told i was I got told my name was racist because I have Afro Joe and I have Afro in my name. But he didn't know that my f whole name is Afro Joe the Wookiee. And like I said, I'm sitting up here pondering and like, why does my name get called racist? Why do certain minorities call me racist? Because I think a certain way that I think that certain minorities are black facing themselves because they think it's cool to do that shit but they love to be called all these damn negative names 
Like black folks must really love to have a white person come up to them and say nigger in their face. Or white folks love, must love when black folks or any other minority call them crack or honky. Same with Hispanics getting called beaner or wet bag. Same with, same with Asians getting called chanks. Same with Jews getting called kites. Same with, uh, what else, uh. Native American getting caught Redskins like they're already bitching about with the Redskins because the face the Indian face they thought the the name Redskin was racist how about the Vikings that's racist too because their people their ancestors were from was Vikings so that must be racist too or the Panthers or Panthers, look at the Panthers. Black Panthers, see what I'm saying? People love to be fucking stereotyped. They love to get called racist names. And that's how it is. People must really love for a minority to walk up to them and call it the most negative name on the block. And then they call themselves this negative name just to make them feel good. I said, if you don't want people to call you this negative name, why call yourself this negative name? It makes no sense. You're not taking the power away from the negative name. You're still giving it power. And that's how it is. In the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence, it did not say we have every fucking right to call each other racist name or we have every right to stereotype ourselves. We have or we have every right to be a dumbass that doesn't pay attention. That's why I'm doing this shit just to make you realize and y'all sit up there and y'all look at Kanye West saying he crazy as hell so are you because you're sitting there doing the same thing being negative stereotyping yourself because you think it's cool to do stereotyping yourself is not cool stereotyping yourself is not the shiznit stereotype is not the shits or that's the bomb or off the chain or there's dillio and all this shit <clears throat> It's not. And I'm tired of walking around this world, sitting up there seeing minorities calling each other racist names and sitting up there saying, I hate being stereotyped. If you stop giving it to it and stop paying attention, if you stop giving it to a stereotype, then you won't get called a racist name. <clears throat> and that's how I see it. And I'm going to say it again. Look up the movie Bamboozle. Bamboozle by Spike Lee. If you look up Bamboozle that was directed by Spike Lee and watch that. I don't know, care how many times you watch it, but watch it. And you will see and understand what I mean. Then go watch Professor Griff, Dr. Uh, Umar Johnson, Dr. Uh, Paul Moody, uh, Dr. Umar Johnson, and Jesse Ventura and tell me that I'm in, I'm in the wrong. And these five guys saying, saying this shit too. Five guys, even comedians, Eddie Griffin. Eddie Griffin saying this, but that's how it is. That's how I see it, world. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe the Wookie, ten like a T. I motherfucking ears again. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Follow me on Tumblr. For, subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Junior Two and CeeLo Junior Three. And that's how it is, man. Trying to show the world that they need to stop stereotyping themselves. Grow the fuck up. This is not the 70s or the 80s. This is 2012. And I would have thought every minority would have evolved and got smarter. Got smarter. Or have intelligence to stop stereotyping themselves. Giving in to temptation. Where every black person and every white person loves alcohol and liquor that every white person loves NASCAR and country music or every black person loves coat 45s or smokes weed and saggy pants and white women or shit like that stereotyping yourself but I'm, not, I'm saying y'all stereotyping yourselves I'm not sitting there calling you dirty names I'm saying quit fucking stereotyping yourself quit black facing yourself teach a child not to follow in your footsteps 
but teach them how to better themselves with an education with an education because like they say children is our future but why are you letting your children die in the street that's the question why are you letting your children die in the street for stupid shit that you do like I said holla at me peace love and Afro Greece